Good morning, folks. Uh, surprise! <laughs> I had originally planned to maybe stream another extra day this week on Friday, but I decided to move that to today. Just because, I don't know, felt like doing it. So, in that vein, we are going to play some Valheim today, in part because eventually it might replace um, Hydraineer as the Whatever Wednesday game. But yeah, we're going to play some Valheim today. And we're going to just root and toot around and play uh, Viking times. <laughs> but um, before we begin with that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also work to address the disproportionately high rate and harm of jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Because... Let's face it, society hates us, and any way they can just keep us in jail forever, they will do so with extreme prejudice. So, these folks help combat that, so if that sounds like something you'd like to help with, uh, below my stream I have a donate uh, button through Tiltify. I also have a donate command, exclamation point donate, that will get you that link as well. And my chatbot shares that donate link every 30 minutes or so. And when the stream comes up, I have a QR code in the bottom left that you can scan with your mobile device that will take you to the donation stuff as well. So, if any of that sounds like something you want to do, and you do so, I really appreciate you for it. It's a really good cause and helps a lot of people. And otherwise, I have a... Um, I, my, my chatbot also shares my Discord uh, server link. Which should work, but I might have to go back and update to make sure it's got a current link to it. But yeah, with that, let's uh, go ahead and get things rolling here. I had to very quickly before stream add this, make a source for Valheim because I hadn't yet on this computer. Because the last time I streamed this game was when I started my old PC and the the, ga the game kind of struggled to, to like run super well. Not a problem anymore. At least I don't think so. Alright, uh, we're gonna make a new, a new critter, that's one I've just been playing on my, my own time. Uh, uh where is it? I mean, that one's fine, I guess. But I, th uh, I think it's... This is the one I usually go with for my character's hair. Um... <clears throat> hmm. Well, I guess the name could just be... This one will be Mobus the Dork. In honor of my OSRS name as well. Good morning, Digi. You just caught me right as you just caught me in the nude, apparently. <laughs> oh no! Not the nude! Mob us the nude! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're starting, I'm just playing, starting to play some Valheim today, because eventually I think it's going to move to the Wednesday slot that I have, instead of Hydraneer. Ah, I haven't even done any, I haven't even done past the Swamp place, so I'm not super keen on doing modded stuff until I kind of explore more of the uh, base game myself. I did play some Valheim this last Sunday with Birdie and the, and their crew, so I'm just trying to get back into it a little bit. Ah, quality life stuff's definitely good. <clears throat> it also helps that my computer is no longer just like a, a glorified um, toaster. My computer can actually handle this game pretty well now. It's a matter of if the game wants to handle itself. C 
same same deal, same deal with Hydra Junior. My computer is plenty good enough, but it's the game. I can respect that. One hundred percent. Long ago, the All Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world. And split the boughs that held that prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of the sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the grace of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. I like how this is just like Viking fan fiction, basically, because there is not a fucking tenth world in the in North mythology whatsoever. <laughs> hey, that's fine though. Frank, a lot of those like mythologies and folk tales are kind of told by mouth and embellished anyway. So, like, just additions like this would honestly not be super far removed anyway. You know, we're just being carried by this vaguely human-like bird. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> I, I can respect I can respect making changes like that if they don't really fit what you want in life. I know what you're saying! <laughs> bird. I don't know what was just there, but it's probably a stone, which I want to grab. Burries. B -b Burries. Oh, but I accidentally just like read the thing from the back somehow. Got super Viking powers to like re fine. Just cause he'll just he'll just keep like appearing if I don't talk to him. And I still be ap keep appearing anyway. Oh well, that's convenient. It's like right there. One of my last files I made of this, Ike there was like across the fucking ocean, so I had to make one of those like really shitty rafts and like sail on it. Like Viking Age Fight Club over here, we're just gonna punch this little dude to death. <laughs> oh, that's. I thought that was a smaller tree. No, it's just a, a, a massive ass branch from this thick ass boy here. Alright, yeah, that's a waste of time. Let's find a different tree to do stuff. I don't really have a weapon yet to kill this deer, but I will. But by damn it, I'll try. I will sneak attack this deer. Let's actually eat a uh, thing because I got some more stamina for sneaking around. Yeah, basically to get around the, um... Yeah. Basically to get around the whole can't take things through portals things, I make, like, new bases, like, everywhere. So, like, if I make a base specifically for, like, doing metal stuff or whatever, so that I can, like, get the bars make, make in this place, make them there, and then when I got the stuff that I want out of it, I just go somewhere else. It's not ideal, but it's kind of about the best way I can really figure out how to do anything for it. Probably not going to be able to kill this deer, but... Oh, I got pretty... I'm getting pretty close! <laughs> we can hidden Viking strike attack! Alright, I'm not gonna chase this fucker. I got other stuff to do. I get these rocks so I can make an axe. Because if I had an axe, I would have killed that deer almost 100%. So we're gonna, like, actually get some gear. Yeah, I, I totally, I to I'm not, I'm totally not arguing with what you're saying. Because you are absolutely right. 100%. It's just kind of... Just kind of part of the game to deal with if you're playing vanilla or just like 
as faithful to how it was designed as possible, which I can I can definitely respect not doing that. I play modded Minecraft. <laughs> it, I think it I think it is to encourage just you do, building a little bases everywhere and having little like safe safe places or whatever. That's how I'd, I w interpret them doing it. Alright, what is it, bird? You found a snack. I am a snack. <laughs> uh, is that good enough to make an axe? It is. Alright, let's move this torch down. I don't really much need that right now. And let's see, hammer, we need more stones. But before that. Let's test my hypothesis. I was like, oh, well, if I have this, no, never mind. Somehow, I think I, I think my, oh, oh, it's the same deer anyway, so whatever. <laughs> oh, I got deer trophy, like first kill. All right, um, I'll take that. Can't really complain about RNG like that, huh? I was wondering why that deer saw me immediately. It's because I had already previously like sneak attacked it, so it probably was like more like knowledgeable of me being there. I heard, I heard the little grayling. I heard, I heard the bitch. You are absolutely right, I can respect that. My solution to that would be to build a portal, like, wherever I decide to base up and right next to the ore. That way I can get back to, like, a place to explore somewhere else. That's how I would do it. And if I play this long enough on stream, that's probably how I will do it, honestly. Yeah. Alright. Well... Got a little place here I can just fix up, so that makes things a little simpler. I'm not above just repairing houses that already exist. It's already flat terrain, you know, like... Alright, let's see. Let's make our little hammer. Okay, two, and uh, see, this one's covered already, so we're gonna just do this. Oh, perfect, we don't even have to do anything to get this working. Alright, so, I want to make a hoe, because then I can kind of make my own base somewhere. Excuse you, Hoogan, that's a little rude, get, get off of the bench. Go. <laughs> He's like, look at me, I can sit on everything. That's rude. Poof the bird. <laughs> He's just started preemptively disappearing. He's like, yeah, you're gonna hit me anyway, aren't you? <laughs> well, let's see. Can I do any upgrades on my, my stuff to get them not, like, tender ability? Because, yeah, like, this thing's initially got like 100 durability, but upgrading with like two stones gets it to like 130, which is useful. Um, what about the hammer? One wood, one stone. I need the thingy though. So what we're gonna do instead is um, grab our nice little hammer here. Mm. Actually, we'll leave this place here. Just because we can fix our stuff here, and we can probably just build a little roof real quick and have a, a functioning house. Yeah. That's pro- What I normally do is I, like, just cannibalize the shit out of, like, all these little buildings like this. And, like, smash all the stuff and get a bunch of free wood. But in, but in this case, I'll just kind of fix this little place up. And then we can have it as a little, uh place near the boss to kind of rest. 
It'll take less time to do it. Which means more time I can do stuff like finding boars or whatever. I do like the building system in this game. It's a lot better than fucking Ark, to say the least. Mr. Uh, well, there's a bunch of trees outside. Let's uh, fix that. Let cause like a catastrophic like forest destruction. <laughs> uh, I'll go up to this this wood here. All right, Stinky, come here. Whee! I will, I will require some of the resin from those, so I don't really mind smacking them around a little bit. Um, I will. Mm, yeah, okay, never mind. I see. Their little house is constructed like weird as fuck. Actually, I don't think I need these little things on the side, so that's like just more wood. Yeah, I do like how th I do like how these little things are built, and I've built like tried to build like really like accurate houses to like their style they do in this in the game to kind of match. And it can be kind of functional, but other mo most of I just see it as kind of like a waste of wood to do stuff that way. Should have enough wood now to kind of build up uh, the rest of this little house here. Uh, I guess we'll have a fireplace right here. Well, the, the, ba the basics of it is that, like, if it's if it's touching the ground, it, it's basically very supported, and as the, uh, the stability gets worse, it'll go from, like, green to red. You just kind of have to work with that most of the time. Okay, and then they have the little X thing here. The X Factor. Might have to go outside to put this on. Maybe. There we go. That's fair, yeah. Like, like, like a lot of these games, the systems are sometimes a little uh, fussy and don't do exactly what you would expect them to do. There we go. That should <laughs> that should function just fine as a uh, way to get the vent out the smoke. <clears throat> Uh, okay, we need some more stone. All right, well, let's find that. While that is a possibility, sometimes games are um, just mean. Sometimes a game can just be mean. Oh, there's some stone here. How much do we have now? Four? Okay, well, just gonna search the nearby hills and see if I can find some more stone. Oh, here's the thing for Ikther. Ikther, whatever. The deer. The deer is here. <clears throat> the house is actually really close. Okay, 
to uh was kind of <clears throat> okay and the smoke should just go straight up and out yep a nice little bed like right here again you're literally on my bed no I, I totally understand yeah <clears throat> I got the point like the last point I remember getting to I was going into like the swamp and trying to get like iron or something like that and like it was frustrating going through the fucking swamp. There's just so much. There was just so much unfun shit to have to have to deal with. I kind of just like was like, mm, maybe I don't want to do this right now. All right. Well, let's eat another raspberry. Let's see if we can find some deer to clobber, because we're gonna need deer to um get a to fight the boss anyway, so let's see if we can just kind of find some Ooh, mushrooms. I will take those. I might as well eat one, because what else am I going to do? Otherwise, they're just kind of not a point of picking them up if I'm not going to eat them. Yeah, it, yeah, it, uh, yeah, I remember it not being very pleasant. Where's the deer? I hear one. Make your artistic deer noises. Come on. <laughs> okay, must it must have um gave up. Oh, what do we have here? Is there a skeleton here? I bet there is. Oh, there's just bones and. And money. Uh, I hear another deer over here somewhere. Uh, there's a deer. Kind of hoping to find some boars too, because b having a bow is um, a major quality of life for hunting all these fucking deer. Really? Come at me! <laughs> Stop stumbling around staring at me, you little goober. I kind of lost track of where that deer was. I think. Unless it's like still over here somewhere. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I lost track of it and, well. Fine, come here. Let me, in, let me end your suffering. Kablam! Well, let's see if we can find a different deer. Or maybe some boars. This open field might spawn something. One of these, one of these kind of cairns or dolmens or whatever over here with. Looks like bone fragments. Hmm. Well, here's a standing stone and a partially fucked up hut. What does this one 
say. On this spot a tree fell on my head and I cursed the gods, so I leave this stone in praise of them that they might forgive my reckless words. The tree will do that. I've I've been I have been taken out by trees more than I would care to admit. Mother Nature, you damn nature, Mother Nature, you scary. Mothers, I was like, what's in the way? Log. Well, it's not ideal, but I'm gonna mark the other place on our map as a little, as a, as a little boss base. Makes sense to me. And we'll work on this little thingy and sleep here. I heard ya. I heard both of yous. Little goofballs. Where'd, 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 where'd your little friend go? I know he was here. Walking around like grandma in a nursing home. <laughs> it's like, where am I? What am I? <laughs> Where, where, where's my oatmeal? <laughs> anyway, well, I'm sure it'll show back up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, there's already a bed there, so we can um, just put our bed there. When the time comes. <sighs> and yeah, not much to really... This place is a bit of a fixer-upper, but... I can do that. And, hmm. Well, let's destroy that. I bring, that's great, I'm happy for you. Fine, I'll, I'll talk to you so, so you'll go away. I'm missing stones. Thought I'd been picking up enough. Well, alright. Whatever. Looks like there's not really much of a point in me doing any of this stuff other than to fix up my uh, tool. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make a base until we get to the Black Forest, because, yeah... We'll see, but, uh, yeah, I need to get the, uh, flint for this. I'm not sure where the closest water source is. Probably down there. Well, guess we're gonna head down there. <clears throat> oh, no, we got some stones here that are pretty easy to find, so that means we can make a campfire so at least skip to the day okay well in that case that changes my plans a little bit
a little short on wood, so we'll come out here and find one of these, uh, one of the various, like, logs. Eat our other raspberry we found. Well, I guess I should clarify by base I mean permanent base. Like, I'll more than happily tear this thing down for the wood once I, like, sleep and do all that fun stuff. I did. I did. I do want to keep that little house that's near Ikethir in case something goes wrong and I need somewhere to hide it away at. But otherwise, yeah, this place is gonna get destroyed. Unfortunately, the um, campfires when you destroy them do not give you the stones back. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Actually, I don't really need to destroy this, these little places like this. I really don't. It's just force of habit for me to do so, so I get the extra wood from the, in the process, but I can just cut down a tree if I need wood, you know. So we'll just leave that alone. What I'm really hoping to find are boars, so that I can start getting leather scraps so I can get a bow. I much prefer fighting Ikethir with a bow than <laughs> trying to just chop its legs off. So I guess on that note, we will start heading down towards the, uh, just anywhere else. Grab some wood while I'm running around in case I find another one of those little uh, houses to tidy up because the worst thing that, that can come from all this is I have a bunch of little houses that, like if I'm running around doing stuff in this area ever I'll have a place where I can just sleep you know Of course, I'm not seeing a single fucking boar anywhere. Oh, speaking of which, there's a boar. Sometimes you just gotta complain loud enough the universe is like, okay, fine. <laughs> this fog is, it's pretty, but it's a little annoying. Is this another Ikethir place? It is. <laughs> There's just like two of them kind of like in the same like area. That's funny, but why? Oh look, another little house. I'm not gonna like fix up every single one of these I find. That would be silly, there's not really any point to do that. Oh, there's bees in there though. That'd be good to have. I don't have a, I don't have a. Oh, well, I was gonna say, oh, I don't have a way to really deal with them right now, but. Okay. I was, I was gonna say. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, I have a way I can deal with them. Kind of. Okay, I need some more wood. My way of dealing with them is, like, just, just destroying the whole house. Having them collapse with it. It's 
very kind of like a Minecraft solution to the problem. It's like, just destroy the house. Come here, little shit. Little shit stain. Got him. Oh, now I can see you clearly. Got him. Who needs a bow and arrow? We can just use your little hammer. Yeah, we'll just, uh... I'll just take the rest of this, too. Don't mind me. Just, uh... Just watching it fall apart on its own. Kind of. Alright, we just got like 30 something wood for absolutely free and we got the stuff from the bee. I'll take it. Oh, there's another little house. Probably not gonna break this one down too unless there's a bee in here. Oh, it's even got a little door. That's cute. Do we have a chest or is this just like a little... A little, ho little home. It's like a little... It's like those little homes. Let's see. I'm gonna put these up here so I can see how many of them I have. Because I think you need at least six to make... Uh, I think you need at least six of them to make the um, bow. Which is a requirement for me before I fight the boss. Because, well, that's how I'm gonna fight the boss is with the bow. In the meantime, though, I can grab some flint here so I can start upgrading my shit. Probably we got some we got some feathers there we can use to make some fire arrows. I hear a neck. Come here, stinky. Wherever you may be. <laughs> You're probably out in the water somewhere. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure I'll run into, like, several other necks. It's like a little farm here. Or what was an, an attempt? Like a chicken coop, it looks like to me. Nope. Oh, yeah, there's fish in this game now, I guess. I don't know how you interact with them, but they they sure do exist. They tend to, like, beach themselves, which is kind of funny, but I still don't really know what to do with them, so I just kind of leave them there. <laughs> oh, there is a chest there. Oh, another feather, some actual arrows. Nice, okay. Take those. Take that mushroom, too. Just try to keep our stats up. This is some messed up freaking world gen. Okay, I do need to keep track of flint, too, because I think we need ten to make the little uh, tree stump chopping thing so we can upgrade our tools I'm not sure if there's a flint that I missed there or not but here's one okay we're up to seven I think we need ten but I'll probably try to just grab as many as I can find frankly There we go, here's some next. Come here. Rawr. Splat. 
Give me that neck tail. <laughs> Oh, we got like kind of like a bigger little ruined house. Bigger little ruined house. Yeah, that that's proper English. Fuck sakes. <laughs> that those are the autistic deer noises I was I was hoping to hear. It's like it most certainly killed deer without the bow. You just gotta be able to sneak up on him. Oh, I didn't even know there was two over here. That would explain a lot. Okay, didn't get the other deer trophy from that single deer, but that's fine. I'll, I'll find another deer somewhere, I'm sure. For now, we still need to get flint. Maybe some neck tails, too. Actually, before I do anything, let me look at the... Okay, you don't, you don't need the honey to actually make a hive. So I can actually eat this... Uh, save this honey to eat for when we're fighting Ikethir. Have just a bunch of stamina. Although it might be wiser to have more health as well, so we'll probably we might end up eating the um, eating a raspberry, a mushroom, and like some deer meat or something. I just gotta find boars. Oh, speaking of which, found you. <laughs> Oh, did that one not? Uh, okay, I was like, did that one not drop a leather scrap? That's disappointing. But yeah, once we can, once we're, once we're confirmed to be to be going to the Black Forest to live, we'll probably uh, build an actual base because you can, you spend a, a respectable amount of time in that area. I think with all the fucking gray dwarves. <laughs> We're just kind of awkwardly staring at each other in the water. It's like, uh, can you do anything? Nah. Can you? Nah. <laughs> oh, he floats. Well, I mean, uh, that's probably the expected uh, reaction. I do need to be mindful of my weight. It just walks directly into the sea. <laughs> I was hoping to find more actual necks running around, but all of them seem to just be swimming in the water right now. Oh, there's another boar. Oh, you're a one star boar. You might give me more than one thingy. You did. Okay, that that's nice. I like that. Oh, there's another. No, oh, perfect. All right. Well, means that we're gonna be able to make our bow pretty soon, and not a moment too soon, because that's uh, the start of the Black Forest, and I don't want any of that right now. <clears throat> All right. Well. On that note, let's uh, head back uh, to this place and try to see if we can kill deer on the way. Oh. 
Here's some necks. Just little squelchy guys. Oh, come back. Oh, that's the trophy. I don't really need the trophy. Not that I know of. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> okay. Um. There's the deer. It's got like piss marks on it. They just they just go to the bathroom. It's like sorry, this is embarrassing. Um, not entirely. Oh, oh, we got the other deer trophy. Perfect. So now we can. Uh, I usually prefer the trolls not to just thump me because. <laughs> It's not a very satisfying way to get killed. <sighs> I, mean, I don't think there really is a satisfying way to get killed, but that's definitely not one of them. <sighs> Just little stone pieces. Kind of make our way back to that one base. Uh, we'll, we'll eat another raspberry just because that is going to be part of our food. Our like food rotation for the boss, at least. Surely you're not gonna just let me kill you, are you? And it came pretty close. Oh, another little house. All right. I mean, I'm kind of heading this way anyway, so I'll chase the deer. Another little house. Ooh, I hear bees. I hear bees indeed. Well, okay, well, looks like I know what I'm doing. Needs a roof. Uh, don't. I, I promise you don't need that much of a roof. Oh, that can just float there. All right. Well, not anymore. Did I get the other uh, queen bee? Probably not yet. There it is. You're sheltered. You're exposed. You're sheltered. You're exposed. All right, cool. Yeah, I care, I care more about getting the queen bee than I do the chasing the deer that I don't need to kill. It's probably over there anyway, screaming, as deer tend to do. Yeah, it's the, probably that one right there. Yeah, it's kind of faced a bad direction. I'm not going to worry about it. It's 
said this way. Running through the forest. Oh, bunny flu flu, run through the forest. Scoop up the field mice and kiss them on the head. <sighs> okay. Oh, hello. I mean, all right, I won't say no. <laughs> that would have been the sixth one if I didn't kill that two star. Oh, hey, there's the little house. Emphasis on little. This is very cozy. Alright, let's make this bow. We need... Oh, you need eight! I'm stupid. That's okay. Let's sleep, and then we'll go get an eighth one. From somewhere. Nah, it won't be that bad. I'll just explore, like, in a different direction than I've explored before. Build this little thing. Trying to build like as as compact of a house as possible. Eh, good enough. I don't need a lot of cooking real estate anyway. I don't have an awful lot to cook. I just want to offload the heavy stuff. Boar meat. Yeah, we'll, pro we'll we'll likely end up eating um, this honey along with um, a berry. You eat like the honey, the berry, and the boar meat for uh, our. Uh... Well, I'll cook the other stuff too. We'll kind of just see what stuff everything gives like. Like the neck tail's not as quite as good as the uh, boar meat, so we'll save that for another time. Good, okay, we don't have anything else to cook. That's fine. I would need one more deer hide. So if we have one more, um, one more leather scrap, we can, uh, oh, come on game, be nice. So if we have one more leather scrap, we could, uh, make a bow, which would make, let us get the deer hide easier, and we can make leather pants. Only reason I'm slightly interested in even doing that is, um, just because we already have the, um, 
We, we, we already have the uh, deer hide, basically. Otherwise, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Because if you don't get hit, you don't need armor, right? <laughs> right. That's totally... Uh... I'm trying to read. Get out of here. Go, go away. I'm trying to read. <laughs> a full belly, a full sail, the weight of a spear in your hand, and a song in your lips. Let all the mountains crumble, and seas boil to salt. One day in the sun is a life well lived. Eh, alright. Let me, let me open my menu, please. 35 and 12. Actually, deer is slightly better, so we'll have deer and... We'll have a deer now, too, because that'll just give us a good amount of stamina. It'll give us a good amount of health to round up the staminas. Alright, need one more boar. At least. So we're just going to kind of explore parts of the map I haven't been to yet. Maybe we'll just run into some boars. Oh! Here we go. Here's a boar. Oh, I see. I see the deer now. I was like, I don't even see this fucking deer. Deer hide? Okay, cool. So we can make some pants when we get home, too. I say look home in the loosest sense possible. What do we have here? We have any treasures? Any, any goodies? Probably not, but I'll kind of peek in anyway. Costs almost nothing to look. It, it costs time, but I've got a little bit of time I can afford to spend on that. I'll tell you what though, fighting Ikethir with like eight or nine people is a is is madness. <laughs> like, I don't think I even had a bow yet. We're all just like, sh like people that had bows were shooting at at them, and I was just trying to chase it with an axe. <laughs> it was it was fun, but it was just like a little a little a little silly. Okay, we got some. Some foods we can put on there. Let's fix that up. Um, let's make the leather pants because those give us more armor than if we made the uh, tunic. In part because we don't have pants <laughs> right now, so that's an armor slot filled. All right, cool. And if we do get smacked around by Ikthir a little bit, then it won't hurt quite as bad. All right, let's make some, let's make the bow. Now, what does it take to upgrade the bow? More leather scraps. Okay, we're not going to worry about upgrading that. Um, all right. I am going to make some fire arrows. That might be enough just to kill um, Ikethir alone, but um, if it's not, we've got some of these arrows to finish them off. I can use some of these flint arrows. I'm gonna go try to kill some deer or something. Cause I want I want to wait till the food recycles around a little bit. Cause oh. well, there's a boar. 
Because that... Uh, I mean, I guess we could probably... How much stamina do I have? I mean, honestly, that's probably good enough stuff. For, like, theory, like... That's a good amount of stamina. It's more stamina than I normally have. I almost always just load up on nothing but meat for HP and... Well, you know. That's not really gonna make much of a difference when you're trying to run around. Just don't get hit, forehead. This hill is gonna fucking is gonna fuck me up. I can already tell. Where are you going, bud? Oh, I missed a, I missed a fire arrow shot. That's uh, unfortunate. Can can you not? Now is not really the time for that. For your little uh, weirdness, right? Or oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> this hillside's gonna fucking get me killed. I'll tell you that. Oh. <laughs> well, my aim's not very good all the time. I'll tell you that. I'm. Trying to focus on not getting stuck somewhere more than actually really anything. I'm not used to having this much uh, stamina. Ooh, hitting right in the booty. Got your booty, boy! Clippity cloppity. Clippity cloppity. Just kiting it around this rock, because. Fuck else am I gonna really do? Can, can you. I almost wanna stop and kill the Graylings, but. Because they're kind of just getting in the way. <laughs> but. Ah, you hit me. Oh, that didn't even really do that much, honestly. Oh, fuck you. Come here. Be gone. Now I'm just trying to fight the Graylings instead of the boss, because the, the Graylings are a little bit more annoying. <clears throat> How did that not hit? That's BS. You know what? Get out of here, you little asshole. <clears throat> You can just kind of like walk around in circles and kind of confuse them a little bit. Alright, well I am out of fire arrows. I did miss like three or four of them, so it's like not that big of a deal. I'll just use oh, normal arrows to finish them off. And get really, and kind of start getting a little sloppy with the fight, I guess. I don't know. Right there's really not very difficult. Where you at, bud? There you are. Alright, I 
I need to eat some food. I'll just take a hit and eat some more food. I'm getting all this free wood though. You wanna not be behind the fucking rock, please? <laughs> Boop! Oh, well. God damn, Hugin. Body's not even cold yet. <laughs> Like, that was a very scuffed-ass fight, but even then, yeah, like, Hugin, uh, Hugin. You little bastards were more of annoying than the boss was. Go away. Make our antler pickaxe. All right, nice. How's our weight looking? Two and nine. Okay, that's not as bad as I was thinking it would be. <clears throat> Bird really wants us to fucking talk to them. Fine. Where? Where are you? Yes, yes, we know. Well, maybe... Maybe someone watching doesn't know, so, cool. Thanks, Hugin. <laughs> uh, let's see... Onward to give up the, uh, Ikethyr head. I'd say a bit over an hour is not bad for Ike Theory. I could probably do it a lot faster. I know in the distant past they used to do uh, try to speedrun how fast it could kill Ike Theory reasonably. Basically amounted to how fast can I find boars. <laughs> Yoder awaits. Yep. <laughs> we already kind of spotted some black forest off in like this direction, so we're likely going to um, well now y'all just mocking me. Yeah, like, deer are so easy to kill once you have a bow, because you don't have to get close to them anymore. You just kind of pop them, you know? Uh, something we can get rid of. Probably, like, one feather. I don't really care. I, I'll get more feathers when the time is right. I don't think we really need the uh, trophies either. Deer trophies maybe, because we can make the stag up, the, the, the big ass like like deer sledgehammer or whatever, the stag breaker or whatever, which is cool. Really? Right over your shoulder, huh? Ooh, that was a two star deer. What the f holy sh- It's just a pile- just a big pile of deer stuff, blah! <laughs> Ooh, more arrows, perfect. More of that stuff too, don't care about the branch. I 
I think this is just one of the standard little, uh, it's not the dungeon variant of this thing, it's just kind of a place where there's bones, it looks like. Uh, how's our raspberry supply doing? Let's get some more of those. Oh, would you look at that? We're heading over this way, and there's this, this little cabin here that I set up previously. We're not going to stay here, but I can come here, repair my shit, and, you know, sleep. Chase the night away. You dream of lying on your back in a meadow, gazing upward at the clouds. Your name is nothing. Your mind is free of thought, but there's a warm hand in yours. In the dream you are laughing. When you awaken, something, something, tears. I was trying to read, damn it. Because, <laughs> like, since I played, they added more of those, like, messages like that. Since, since the last time I played, other than, like, Sunday, when I played with Birdie. Oh, yeah, we got, we got some hills to go down now. Something I should make, though, before I go into base building mode is I need a hoe so I can flatten some land. Because granted, you can just, like, do stilts or whatever, but if you, if you build stilts on uneven land, sometimes the stilts don't line up and, you know, it just gets un... I, it's not ideal. Well, I guess I'm... Game. Fine. Whatever. I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just roast alive a little bit. I guess I'll stop to cook some some of the food I usually build a thing like around the fireplace so I don't like set myself on fire like this, but it's, it's kind of weird. I think it's because the fire is too far forward compared to these things, so the hitboxes and, you know, technical shit. I could engineer like a way around it, but I'm not going to worry about it because this isn't a permanent base. It's kind of like just a little hidey hole. Ah. Well, that gets us a lot of deer meat. We're going to... We're going to... For now, we're gonna let go of the raspberry. We're gonna eat you. We're gonna eat you, and then we'll eat boar meat as well. That'll give us a lot more HP, which is probably gonna be more useful in the uh, forest. That being said, we have enough deer hide to, well, we need the, the little thingy. So maybe we don't have enough deer hide. I mean, we do, but we don't have enough stuff to Yep, whatever, thanks. Thanks, bird. We're gonna continue heading this way. Cause I, I can already see the trees from here. Indicating the black forest. It's 
so let's get, we're gonna head down to this river and get some more flint. Check out what we got here. Nothing. Don't know if that's like an outhouse or what that's supposed to be, but. What I do know is that we're down near the water's edge now, so we should be able to find enough flint to do things with. Once we aren't, well, we're out of honey now, but we'll, we'll um, like, we'll, if we don't get more honey before it, we, it's food time again, we'll probably just swap in some uh, berries for that. Alright, let us tentatively, uh, Explore the black forest <clears throat> Come here stop like running away you came to me and then you're gonna run away rude Rude that's a that's a rude critter <laughs> Oh, well, that's, that's interesting. We already found carrot seeds. It takes usually a lo qu quite a bit longer to find those, so cool. Um, just kind of, like, explore this. Uh, the, we'll explore near the river. Partially because tin's here, but also just... Maybe I can find a nice little uh, place near the river. To, to base up. Well, there's already some gray dwarves. Good job. Proud of you. Stop. Stop. Stop circling around me. Rude ass. Get out of here, stinky bastards. It may not be the worst thing to set up near a copper deposit if I can find one, because then I could just mine copper like all the time oh I think I found one yep found some copper so we might make a base somewhere nearby probably not like on this fucking fucked up hill hillside but maybe like over here somewhere it's not actually super far away from the, uh... We have a nice little cozy hillside base up here. It's not even that far away. Oh! Oh! <laughs> There's a bunch of dudes over there. Nice little stone house, too. 
I don't think I'm going to pick a fight with them because I don't have a shield. And there's a lot of them. That would not go very well for me. Now, if I had a shield, I'd be more willing to do that. But yeah, I think we will make our uh, base kind of like on the hill, like on top of the hill near this copper deposit, like perhaps like over here. Excuse you. I mean, it's only one of you. That's not hard to deal with. Like, even with uh, just like a stone axe, great orbs aren't super dangerous. It's when there's like multi- ah, asshole. It's when you don't have like no armor, no food, no nothing. That they are uh, dangerous. And if you got a shield, then yeah, they're very, they're more just annoying than really full of danger. Let's kill this fur. It's just, it'll give us some more wood, and it's just kind of in the way. Let's keep flattening the area around here. Oh, I think I attracted all the dudes, literally every single one of those dudes from that place. It seems like at first there was like a few of them kind of trickling it. Oh, yep, here comes the big guy. I'm not, not going to fucking fight that guy. <laughs> not with an axe, at least. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Looks like that dude ran back home anyway, so yeah, I'll f I could fight these guys with just the axe in that case. If I could not get like hit by rocks. You mean a. Okay, there's one dead. Getting those perfect parries like that with the axe can just save your life, too. Especially if you do decide to try to fight that big dude with, you know, an axe. If you don't, if you do not parry his shit, he will just smash the shit out of you, so. Yeah. I just prefer to not deal with them at all if I can avoid it, because they're just a little thick. Wait. Well, come here. Come here, you asshole. Come here. Well, I guess what I can do is uh, try to get a sneak hit on this dude. Aw, oh, just, just missed. Oh, he, he, I think he knows I'm here. I think he knows I'm here. He's like, oh shit! Great Dwarf Smash! Yeah, you can just kind of kite this dude, and he should be fightable. You can even do the, like, the let him swing and then run away kind of deal. Like that. It takes him a sec to recover. 
Just don't, just don't get hit by doing that. Which I, I'm gonna guarantee I might, that might happen. I might just get hit by trying to do it because I'm just bad at the game. Come on, make up your mind. Swing or no swing? Eh, we just finish him off. Alright, he's dead. Well, that's fun. Oh, yeah, I forgot they have dandelions. I don't really need that right now. Oh, fuck! I was expecting to miss. <laughs> Pew! The other boy's like, holy shit! It's like, I know, right? Alright, well... We did kind of clear that little uh, hut out, so... Might as well take a look and see what they got inside. Since it's, since it's cleared out now, I didn't really mean to do that, but... Oh, more it. Oh, I'll, I'll just make fire arrows, because feathers, yeah. And we could turn this into a base, but it's kind of small. We'll, be, we'll make our own. And I do want to break this and get what's in there, but we don't have inventory space right now. I gotta get the base built up. And I was gonna say I'll have to find where I was building at, but that's not gonna be the problem. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fine. What? You know, I don't feel like wasting axe durability on you. So I'll just sock you one. Just gray dwarf bare knuckle boxing. <laughs> Come here. I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> Very useful to, to raise your um, your fist skill so that you just don't have to use your weapons, you know? And probably not recommended against stuff like, you know, trolls or whatever, but these guys, it's, it's fine. Punch him right in the mouth. Okay. We're gonna have to construct a very bare bones like structure just so I can um like repair my stuff because it's my stuff's a little fucked right now. So we're gonna make this little small pitiful house thing and hopefully that's enough to uh, let us just uh, repair our stuff and then after that we can um, Perfect. Fixed up all of our garbage. And we can keep a... Uh... Well, how, how much wood do we have? We should have a... We have some. I need to... I need to carefully, um... Use that... As to not run out. <clears throat> For now... Let's build a chest so I can just start getting a bunch of stuff. I 
I can offload stuff like all this, well, some of this stuff, rather, because, I mean, that's chests aren't very big. Now, these little fir trees can get you... Some more wood while you're in here. All right. Okay. Let's. This isn't gonna be a permanent sort of situation. Although I might like try to decide where I'm gonna have a campfire permanently, and go from there. Hmm. Or maybe not. I don't know. For now, we're just gonna make a very simple little house that will serve our purposes of just sleeping and um, having a base. Oh yeah, I put all my wood away, didn't I? Well, that makes sense why I wouldn't be able to build things if, you know, you're out of wood. Uh, we're keep having to look up in my bar to figure out where I put my, uh... gotta build a roof we're gonna make this a little nicer once we're like not just building up from literal nothing like we're not gonna have this little like small little shack okay that's our bed we can't even get well we can we can get in to do this stuff Uh, just so I can see what I'm doing. And that's enough to sleep. You just have to have a fire nearby. It doesn't have to be right next to you. You stand at the prow of a leaping ship. The salt spray before you and the sh joyful shriek of the girls above. Fold within a dream. You know what it's like to be alive in the land of your birth. Well, that's nice. Okay, we gotta get some more wood. Which means I'm gonna go to the uh, forest. Not here, because this place has wood, but it's like core wood, which isn't really useful for building too much that I know of. Like, I don't, I've never really built too much out of core wood specifically, so we're gonna eat some food, and then we're gonna just Go wood chopper some chopping. Go bully some trees. I don't think I've actually cut down a tree yet. <laughs> yeah, I want to build a decently sized base first and then we'll focus on getting the uh, dungeon stuff going. Oh, you're not dead. Now you are.
Uh, well, not, we're, we're not meant to be able to knock these trees down yet cause with uh, our, our current uh, level of axe, so it's kind of funny. It's just the, tr the tree knocked it down, not me. Yeah, I almost always prefer to use axes as weapons because, well, you use them to cut trees anyway, so why not just use it as a weapon too? And we'll clear out some of these little, like, silly. <laughs> uh, silly is probably not the right word, but that's the word I, my brain's like, oh yeah, that's silly. Um, like, just like, dilapidated uh, mossy wood pieces no nope, the gray dwarves are coming to see what's all the fucks the fuckus ruckus <laughs> what's all the fuckus about you know but don't throw a rock at me from point blank that's rude just just fight me real you asshole come here Come here. Stop. You did a bullshit. Alright, well, they're not... They weren't too difficult to deal with. How much wood do we have now? 48? I mean, that's enough to kind of get more stuff built, at least. Oh, you have some friends. That's annoying. Are you gonna fight or are you gonna just like run around in circles? Whatever. I'll fight these ones instead. Maybe they'll actually want to fight me. The answer is no. None of them want to fight me. C come back! <laughs> Good. Y'all are annoying. I mean, looks like their AI broke very briefly. I'll take it. What? Are they scared? What are you doing? Fight me! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You must have been one of the ones that ran. Yeah, you're the ones that kind of like showed up. What are you doing? Come here. Is there like one of those like spawners for these somewhere nearby, or do they just spawn a lot? I mean, I know they spawn a lot in this place, but. Oh, my axe broke. Thought I repaired that. Eh, well, we'll fix it. Okay, everything's fixed up. This can be like our permanent little fire thing. We can kind of build the house around that, I suppose. Let's clear this out.
Um, excuse me, what? Why aren't you flattening out? Is it because you're already, like, level or something? Or Oh, I guess it's because this area is just lower down in elevation anyway. Well, okay, whatever. In that case, let's just start... So I don't hate this here. I just gotta make other rooms and places. So let's start just, uh, start building. Come on. Ugh, this is annoying. Now I can see why people build with fucking stilts. <laughs> I mean, it's still not too late for me to just do that anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, we're gonna just build with stilts at this point. It's flat enough to where it's probably fine to do up here now. Yeah. build this little part here up. that from the outside. What am I doing? I was gonna build on stilts. What's wrong with me? <laughs> At the very least, let me repair my stuff first. Can I? No, I can't upgrade yet because I don't have the thing you put down, but I don't put that down yet because we're gonna build on stilts, like I said. Even though I keep forgetting, I apparently said that just five seconds ago, so. You know, yay! I do need one of these down to build anyway, but... I think this will be... We'll, we'll build up on, from, with stilts from up here. I usually just prefer building on flat ground. But 
this round is not wanting to be flat, so we're gonna just have to make do. It should not let me build that there like that. That's silly. Let's, uh, for now, move you right there. Building, uh, you. I should do this a little differently. Do things like this. That way things go where they're properly supposed to go. actually fight or are you just gonna run around in circles can can you stop what whatever you whatever you think you're doing can you just stop it please just fight me damn it good god <laughs> I have a feeling it's not wanting to let me terraform it because of this fucking tree. Which we can chop down. We can chop these big trees down, it's just I don't really have... I guess I can make more storage. Probably should, yeah. I don't really want to, but we'll make more storage and... Keep all the core wood in there. Oh! Well, all right. <laughs> wow. You like missed and everything. Come here. Come here. Come back. Why are you like this? Pain in the ass. <laughs> Get rid of this stump. Eventually. And now I gotta get rid of this because it's literally on top of my shit. Wait, did the fir do those big firs still just give wood? Maybe it's the p I think it might be the pines I'm thinking of that give the core wood. Hmm. Oh, all right. Look at me being wrong. Oh, cool. <clears throat> now will you let me flatten the area out?
The answer seems to be no, so we're gonna just, um... Alright, back back to business. Alright. Once I get the uh, the, the, vert, the vertical poles in place, we'll uh, be able to um, safely remove everything else and then just start building up from there. Probably don't need this many vertical poles, but I'd rather have support than, you know, not. Start putting on flooring for this. Before that, though, we need to put this uh, this in, because then I'll let the floor line up with that, which is kind of you know important. And once that flooring's in place, it'll be easier to place all the other flooring. Oh. oh shit, my hammer broke. Well, that's embarrassing. I should have been paying attention. <clears throat> Guess we're gonna have to make another one. Whoops. <laughs> Got a little carried away with the whole building thing. All right, well, got a nice little platform here to work with. How much wood we got? We got enough to kind of just rebuild this little shitberg back up and uh, sleep. Because unfortunately, the rest of the house isn't done yet because I got, I got sidetracked by um, gray dwarfs, gray, gray dwarf and sons.
Oh, you're you're the annoying one. Not super annoying, but definitely more annoying than the normal ones are. Because they have a poison attack, which is not fun. Yeah, we need a roof, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> okay, that is... <laughs> Alright, sleep time. Hopefully last time we have to like reconstruct a scuffed uh, <clears throat> house. You wake slow with the laughter still ringing in your ears. I can keep this as my little bedroom once I get this moved to a proper place. I don't really mind that. But we gotta, we gotta get this built up and by extension I think we gotta get this taken out, this tree, because it's gonna be in the way. First though. Now, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me. Let's build up a nice little. Roof, like so. How much wood we got left? Hopefully, more than four. Oh no, we, we, we're, we're dangerously low on wood. Well, I did say I need to get rid of this tree. So let's do it. There's some more wood, and we'll just break this too, because it's kind of here. I think Ghost House would be nice. It's just a matter of getting the damn thing built.
Let's focus on getting this roofed up, because, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need more wood. And this isn't really doing much for us right here anyway, so let's see if we can uh, put it here and let it make let, let us repair things. We can. Thank fuck. Okay. Yeah, we, we sorely needed that. Uh, now I got two of these hammers, which is kind of awkward, but yeah, could be worse. I can think of worse outcomes than having extra tools. Break this stuff. Get some wood out here. Give me one sec, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I was just gonna check in something. I'm more concerned about getting this roof built up than, uh... Almost anything, um... fun <laughs> okay six wood we're gonna need more I'll just go ahead and cut some more so this is our first like kind of semi-permanent base I want to kind of build it up to look kind of decent and be functional. Oh. Alright, stump. That work. Oh. Housewarming. How how thoughtful of you.
You parried, fool. I, I can heal HP later. Y'all can't, because you'll be dead. Alright, yeah. They're not too bad, even with just, like, bare... Ba bare bones basic armor and like a stone axe like they're they're not too much of a threat unless they have a lot more numbers and you don't have food but that's not the case <laughs> let's take out some of these smaller fir trees on the outskirts of the black forest Some of these bushes too. I'll keep some of them because I mean, they look cool. You know, they're bushes. I don't want a completely de like devoid of life area. I just kind of need to be able to do my business. All right, twenty-eight wood. Let's see if that's gonna be enough to kind of just finish off at least this room. Well, we now have a um, guaranteed place where we can um, repair our stuff, so that's a good step in that's a step in the right direction, at least. All right, seven. Let's. actually go ahead and just uh It's still technically stable, but not very stable. do that. I'll help stabilize everything a little more. Eh, it'll be fine. There's a nice little high window there, too. Uh, let's get rid of that. I was thinking it might look cool, but mm, that'll be fine. Okay, that's a way to get in and out that direction. Let's work on this wall now. We've got 13 wood left. Let's get some more. Uh, I mean, so it is nice that we're kind of like on the edge of the Black Forest biome because we still have all like the meadow spawns, like the boars and the deer, and we have these berries too. So it's a nice mix. Cut down this this bitch tree. Bitch tree.
Come back. Come back. Ow. Not on my knee. You shit ass tree. Alright. Ow. Fucker. Come here. Why won't you fight me? It is nice that they drop wood and stone to kill them. Yeah, actually come fight me. Why are y'all acting so weird? Alright, we got four and nine wood. That'll be enough to get some more stuff done in here. That's good enough. Yeah, that 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 beam's not a good idea. It'd be a good idea if I had like a pole in like the center of all of it supporting it, but no, we're not gonna do that. Thankfully, I can just break it down and get all the wood back anyway, so it's not, like, a big deal. This is my, my little bedroom, I guess. It has to be near the fire anyway, so. Okay, then let's get another bit of this built up. For now, I don't need much more than this, so we're just going to build a gate here. This make would this part make sense here? Probably, technically, I don't know. Oh, we got like three wood left. And I gotta build the roof over the house, over the bed before I can sleep. So I gotta stop 
my speculative building. Hi, Pecky. Hi, sweetie. our bed. I'm gonna pick up my cat because he is murring at me. Ah, baba. It's getting spending a little cat time. <laughs> now he's just yelling because he just does that right. and what I'm gonna have in here are mostly is mostly storage like chests and then like wood flooring and then chests and yeah And then, like, with this area, like, over here, I could have, like, um, I could have, like, the forges and whatever, and then I could have, like, some gardens or something somewhere else, but we'll see. Still a little early to be planning for that, but let's get us some more wood. Did I miss some over here? I missed some beech seeds. Oh. oh, there's a double tree. What well, looks like a double tree, at least. Or maybe it's just a single? I don't know. This would be some good wood. Was a double tree, okay. Now we can cut these both the same swings. That's ideal. Hi, stinky boy. Welcome back. How you doing? He's just standing there looking confused. Kind of like these guys. You want to, like, actually fight me instead of, like, not? Probably not, because I keep just dumpstering them, but... Okay, let's fix our stuff. 
And we'll keep building. Pretty good. <laughs> Hello, Neki. This is the Valheim. It's like a kind of like a Viking survival crafting game thingy. Set in like a um, not like and it's set in a. It's very um, thematically correct, at least. It's good. It's good fun. We're currently building a chimney. For all the, for the smoke to get out of. Oh, we'll build that there and then we can Touch the roof to that. Hmm. Perhaps I should do a thingy like. That works, and then it's a well, it's a bigger fire hazard to um, <laughs> it's a bigger fire hazard to um, let your smoke go unattended, because your house will fill up with smoke and you'll like start suffocating in your house in this game, like legitimately. <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna put one of these things so my dumbass doesn't walk right into the fire. So you can see my big ass noggin just bunk, 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 <laughs> bunk. man just running around being a little being a little guy all right let's see I, I want to make a wooden shield so I need some leather scraps which means I probably need to kill more boars which means I need to go looking for boars uh, this chest is empty we got anything else in here oh we actually have the leather scraps we need anyway so that works Grab this and this too. We'll, we'll make a few things real quick. We'll make this little thing here because I'll upgrade our our workbench to level two. And. Just want attention, huh? Okay, he's doing a little head tilt thing, so he's having a good time. Ah, Bobby. Like I'm just holding him, and he's like slightly tilting his head. He's a very affectionate cat. I have, I've, oh, my my old oh, my previous cat I had before him was a f very feral so he was not very affectionate at all and he would just kind of bite you sometimes <laughs> but this this boy spooky here is very affectionate and i really like that he's very nice to me
anyway, let's, uh, I want to make this, uh, wood shield here. Oh, my inventory's full. Of course it is. All right, well, let's do that instead. Wood shield has been created. Got way too much stuff in my bag. What? Why are you over here? Hi, Hoogan. You've crafted a shield. Whoa, really? I didn't know I crafted a shield. <laughs> uh, let's see. Those can go away. Uh, that can go away. That can go away. That can go away. I'm actually about to make something out of the, uh, the deer hide, so we'll do something with that. Eat some food. Okay. So let's make a leather helmet. Just a little bit of extra armor. Okay, and then we're gonna make some fire arrows with some of our remaining uh, wood, because fire arrows are just very nice to have in general. I don't need these mushrooms with me. Don't need that with me anymore. The yeah, chests aren't very big in this game. It's these chests aren't. I can't remember if there's better ones you can make later or not. Okay. Rustic chic. <laughs> um... Upgrade, um, stone axe would need two stone, that's pretty easy, and that gives me like 30 more, uh, durability, so. So let's upgrade that. I could upgrade, upgrade it by just making one out, uh, an axe out of flint instead, but eh. Stone axe is just very easy to fix and use. Now, I'd love to upgrade the bow, because the bow's durability is not great, but. I need to get a little bit more wood so I can make some more of these uh, arrows. So let's um, destroy some trees and bush bushes and such. Twenty-one wood. Okay. See, I'm gonna want fire arrows in case I run into any trolls, cause. They're, they they could take a lot of damage and fire arrows just do more just do more damage. Oh, I heard some gray dwarves showing up. Punk ass gray dwarves. This is not your home. Go get out. Get out of my house. I thought this one would come back. He's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> He's just scampering away. They'll be back. <laughs> Alright, well, we need to kind of explore anyway. So let's see. Oh. Rude. <laughs> He's just, my, my boy is just sitting down there staring at me. If I could convince him to just like hang out like on my desk or like 
on my lap or something, then that'd be great, but he doesn't really like to do that often. Oh. Yeah, I, I made a shield. You can also block with, like, your weapon, but shield's more suited for, you know, blocking. Ooh, blueberries. I'll take that. I wonder if they're... Are they better than raspberries? Slightly. It turns out our little base that I made is like on the top of a hill. Makes sense. But to get up, but kind of, let's just kind of explore around this side of the river, I guess. We are now looking for dungeons to, to go into. Because we have to get uh, these things called Certling Cores, which will allow us to uh, make a furnace to melt down ore and those are only in dungeons so we've got to find some Ooh, it's blue over there it's kind of ominous it's kind of ominous so let's go check it out oh that might be one actually right there alright let's swim across the river Oh, yep, there's skeletons. Oh, well. Eh, whatever. I'll just clobber them. Clobber the little boners. Get them. Clobber. Clobber. Yeah, clobber. Yes, Hoogan, I, I know. Delves and dungeons can be found across the tenth world. They are monuments of the past, and most often filled with the riches of civilization's long lost. Remember to bring a light source! Uh huh. Well, let's go in. It is a little dark in here. Ooh, mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom. Mmm. <laughs> totally safe. To just... No, I won't. Oh, oh, there's some skeletons in here. Let's, uh... <laughs> What's up? Oh, uh... <laughs> I gotta kill this evil bone pile because it'll just make more skeletons if we don't. Supposed to a not evil bone pile, I guess. There's a little torch here, it'll keep nice and Oh well, here's some of the certling cores. I think that's technically enough to actually make a furnace just from this first room that we found. Grab these, because if we can find the merchant we can sell that to him for credits. Or gold rather. 
big problem with these certain cores is they are pretty heavy. They're like five pounds a piece, so we gotta have to be mindful of that. We also get the Vegvasir of the Elder, which shows it's like the boss location, which it's looking like we either gotta go a long distance that way through the forest, or we have to go across the water at some point. So we will, uh, we'll see. There's definitely more that we need to do before going to that boss, and that's not gonna happen this stream for sure. It's just, it's a little dark in here. Oh! Howdy! Oh, what are you? You're new. I haven't seen you before. Uh, I might want to back off a little bit. <laughs> Just close the door. He's like... Well, that's rude. Uh, let's just sit down for a second, restore some of our stats. Well, this guy just runs around trying to destroy the door. How did that miss? I mean, you got a lot of holes in your body, I guess. But, alright, cool. <laughs> it's like, how did that miss? As they, they're a skeleton, and they might have just went through the ribs or whatever. Alright, Stinky, come here. I do need to see if I'll if it'll let me build a uh, workbench in here to fix my stuff. No, so I have to go outside to do that, and I probably need to because my axe is looking a little, a little bashed up. Trying to, I, I I had the right angle there for a second. Come on. There we go. All right. And we back back and we go. <laughs> I don't think the enemies come back. No, it doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, sweet. Some more of those arrows, some more of that, some more feathers too to make more. Some more feathers to make more um, fire arrows. Kind of the best arrows I can make right now. I don't know if, the, I don't know if there are any better arrows than that I can make for a while, so. I'm sure eventually I can make like some metal tipped arrows of some kind, but I'm 
chest, arrows, fe a lot of feathers, skeletal remains, and a circling core. Can't complain, I've already got nine of them. It's a pretty good haul from this one. Most of the time you don't get quite this many. Okay, so now we gotta go this way, and there's, there's the skeletons! There's ones with bows. Uh-oh. That's bad. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the skeletons um, started just kicking my ass. We'll, we'll consume one of these instead of the, the raspberry, because it's slightly better. Yeah, they, they really started dooting me a little bit, not gonna lie. Set up a fire here. And take a rest. Oh boy. You're annoying. God damn it. I might die because of this fucking poison. We might die. Oh, just barely. I gotta sit here and just try to rest, cause yeah. We're... That came pretty close. I'll tell you what. Just gonna have to sit here. I'll drink some coffee and let the stats restore. Let's grab these things. Alright, well, let's go in there and see how well I can handle the skeletons, because there's a... Uh... Well, there was a few. Oh, yeah, they're definitely still in here. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. That's just too many to deal with, and I should have just ran again, but... I got a little, um... I got a little feisty. That's okay. I can go get, I can go back to my stuff. Well, now we're just kind of naked. Do I have any wood in here to start the fire again? Nope. <laughs> of course I don't. I'll break one of these. Stop harassing me, Hugan. I know. I know I died. I'm not proud of it. Uh, do I have any food to give me at least a little bit more stamina? Eh, I'll eat that. That'll help. Better than nothing. Worst thing is my stuff is in there, so those skeletons are going to be in there, so it's going to be a case of, uh, I have to run in, grab my stuff, and run out immediately. Alright, well, let's just kind of go for it, I guess. Of 
Fine, I'll talk to you. What? Oh, no. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it sucks that you drop all your stuff when you die. Not really much I can do about it other than just like run in there and try to avoid getting hit as best as I can. Grab my stuff and then run back out and then reheal and yeah. That's just way too many skeletons. I should have probably tried to like run down a tunnel and hide and get some of the melee ones to follow me and then kill them. And then focus on the uh, archers after that but what can you do? <clears throat> Probably that. Ooh. Well, let's go in. Run away! Ah! <laughs> uh, let's put all of our armor on at least. Uh, fucking asshole skeletons. Well, they're in for it now, because I'm fully healed, and I've got more HP. Oh, well, I killed one of them. Fuck you. Oh, my stamina's gone. Out, 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 out. <laughs> time out, time out, time out. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Let's just sit here and heal up again. Because these archer skeletons don't fuck around. Uh. Alright, that's good enough. Let's go kill him. The hardest part is just getting to those without the melee ones fucking just killing us or getting in our way. Ooh, Ruby. More, f more feathers. Mm. Well, we got ten startling cores from this dungeon alone. It's, that's actually really good. Usually don't get much more than like five to eight, so it's kind of really good. We can make a, uh, a coal furnace and a um, smelter. Ooh. Is there even anything down here? Is this just like an empty tunnel? Ah, uh, hard to, kind of hard to tell. It's a little dark. I do have a torch. So I guess I'll use that to figure out if there's anything more in here, or if that was literally the last hurrah. I mean, if that was the last bit, then so be it. Kind of sucks I died once to, to get it, but yeah. Okay, nothing there. Bit? 
Yeah, this is like a burial chamber kind of deal, and I think the that area I was in is the last like, part of it that I had to go through. Bit single bit. <laughs> Thank you, Neki. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Uh, let's see anything else in here. I'm pretty sure I got everything. I'm just double checking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got everything now. From this dungeon. Which there's more there's more than one dungeon that spawns in in the world, but only having to go to one to kind of get the basic stuff going is pretty good because that means we can start getting into metal working. Which lets us get better stuff. Well, let's kind of put, I guess I'll just kind of look around the area. And see if there's anything else interesting before we head back to our base. Because we set up base near a copper or copper ore deposit. Like, intentionally, that's why I have built where I did. There's like a little, like, tower over here. Why is there tin here? Tin is usually by the water. I mean, this is by the water, but it's supposed to be just really low elevation. Oh yeah, there's there's a little bit of water here. I guess it's like, oh, there's water here. Put tin here. It's like, all right, cool. Oh, there's a bunch of gray dwarves here. They're not extremely powerful. But their numbers can overwhelm you if you're not careful. How's our weight doing? One okay, we got plenty of weight. Break this and grab whatever goodies are in here. Coal, huh? Well, that's nice. Uh, what do we got in our bot little chest here? Money, arrows, and more money, basically. Oh, that was fun. That is a um, spawner for these little for those gray dwarf guys, and gives us an ancient seed when we break it. We don't really need that right now. All right, that is a troll cave, which means there's probably a troll somewhere nearby or in the cave, you know. So we're gonna kind of keep our eyes peeled for a troll somewhere, because that... Cause if, cause if we don't see the troll, the troll will probably see us, and then we're gonna have to either fight it or just, like, run, because... <laughs> Trolls are formidable opponents. Let's see what we got up here. Might be like a chest or something. Don't peel eyes. No eyes, no peel. All right, skeletons are dead. Hop up into this little kind of guard tower to assume it's what it would, would have been. See if there's any chests in this structure. Oh, there's a skeleton up here still. Rude. He's gonna shoot you. All right, cool, good talk. Um, is there anything up here? No, well, looks like I am the fool for coming up here and there'd just be nothing here but skeletons. 
Which doesn't do much for me, admittedly. Alright, I think at this point we're just gonna cut back and head through to go home. Up this hillside. We're gonna activate Ikethir's power, who's... We, we fought a, a big deer boss earlier in, in the stream. And he gave us this power, so we can do that. And now we can run for a long time. Oh, well, here's one of these things. I guess we'll just break it. Great ores aren't very ferocious, and neither are their nests. <laughs> they did give us one of these seeds, which we will need eventually to fight the uh, second boss. Let all who who read me beware the gray dwarves, the skulkers in the darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rotten rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There is nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst, which draws rock and wood and moss to it. It gathers up the peat into flesh, braids reeds in the bone, and takes rags for skin. It should not walk, but when the night comes, it comes it walks should you who read this see one with a sword in your hand a lance it and let it out or put it to the torch for it fears the flame that would do that would do kind of ease our way down the hill here because like theater's power does not apply to swimming so we want to make sure we have enough stamina to get across the river without drowning ourselves like a fool and then we can continue just running okay well we have returned home it's good to my attention to my my little chimney is not complete because if it rains that fire is gonna go out so we're gonna have to uh put a little like roof a bit of roof over it which isn't, isn't a problem just got to kind of get like here so we can kind of do things. And then we'll just do something like that. Let's grab. There we go. Good enough. And now if it rains, our fire will not go out. And then the, the smoke will get all ventilated where it needs to go. Ow, asshole. Stop throwing rocks at me. And then running away. Come here. <laughs> I didn't say stop. Run from me. Punk ass. Yep, that should more or less complete this little house to the extent that I want to work on it with, because I don't need to really do much more to it, because, yeah, we just don't really need to. Okay, let's run our stuff how much wood do we have 12 that's enough to build a chest we'll build a chest in here do this like minecraft style it's like sideways chests Okay, I'm just gonna start offloading various stuff in here from the area. We can take this stuff inside and, um,.
Good thing it's like like when you're building stuff like you get all the resources well not always all but you get like the majority of the resources back from when you're um building stuff. It's like if you like build something out of wood where you don't want it to go, you can just break it and then you know, move it elsewhere. First, let's make sure I don't have like we'll go here and we'll just start Doing this to make sure we're not like placing something somewhere where it won't want to go. Um, uh, that can go there, sure. And then we can put beach seeds in there too. Kind of shove food in here. Can use those queen bees the, to make some beehives later. Just trying to keep, just trying to keep organized. Okay, and then let's break that. Those chests were there just initially while I was trying to build this this place. Okay, this is gonna be for crafting stuff like stones and that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Coins and amber go in there. Food. I need to probably cook those. Yeah, we'll just cook those before that. And that, that, that go in there. The bones can actually move somewhere else, and the deer trophies can go with where the bones were. Look at me trying to be organized. It's not gonna. I've got a feeling that's not gonna last long. We need more wood anyway, so I'll go. I'll go cook down a tree, and we'll start cooking some food up, and then. Actually, you know what? No. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna mine some ore. It's not, I don't think it's that rock. I think it's one of these over here. Now the downside of doing stuff like mining is that like other creatures in the area can hear you. So if there's just like a bored troll wandering around and he hears you mining, it's gonna come over and see what's up. <laughs> so. Should have gotten some copper from that. Did I like? Did I just not? Hmm. Interesting. I did that time. Oh, maybe it just came over here and I just didn't notice it. Yeah, as you can see, here comes a, gr a, a gray dwarf that hurt us mining. That's fine. I don't mind gray dwarves usually because they're a little they're a little obnoxious, but they give you wooden stone when you kill them, which is just free with supplies because they're pretty easy to kill. Well, I, I, okay, I guess you don't always get the, uh, get copper when you actually mine copper ore. I wonder if that's something they change. I, I don't know. Let's go inside and eat some food. This is also just, what? What? You have found some ore. Raw ore needs to be found, forged, for, refined in the smelter before you can work it at the forge. To build a smelter, you need sterling cores. Search for them in the dark places beneath the earth. 
I'll say one thing. The, the, the this game gives you pretty decent, like, usable tutorial stuff. More than most other games like this do. Uh, what was oh food? We're gonna focus on stamina. F well, let's see. We're gonna eat some deer meat just so we can have some health and stamina and stamina. And we'll sleep just because it's getting dark. Don't really need it to be dark. But yeah, I just felt like I just felt like uh, streaming today. No real reason why, I just felt like streaming today. And this game might come to replace Hydraineer at some point on that time slot, so I figured I'd just kind of play some of it. Kind of get a little bit of a head start. Alright, so we mined some ore. I, I, I do need some wood to make another uh, chest or two. So let's, let's cut down this big fir tree. Actually, no, we'll, we'll leave the fir tree alone for now. Go after some of these smaller trees. I see you over there, dear. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I also just didn't break this barrel. Oh, it gave me, you asshole. I don't much care about blocking against these guys so close to my home because I'll just recover my stuff and again just like they, they give like one wood and one stone when you kill them which isn't a lot but with how many of these bastards you fight just living in this place like it adds up to just a bunch of free stuff well I still got a, a, a little bit of tin from that barrel which tin's not really rare per se. You just got to know where to look for it. We also got some flint. Alright. We were gonna make some another chest. Okay, and then this chest will keep all the stuff like the circling cores and any ore that we get. Now I do know that I'm gonna need stone to actually make this uh, furnace. Let's actually grab our circling cores. We'll try to get that stuff made now. We'll probably have it like here or something. Uh, let's take a look. charcoal kiln and we got a smelter I think this hole on the side is where the ore goes and the little funnel is where you know the bars come out of birds gonna tell us huh Deposit your raw ore in the furnace and it'll melt away all impurities. Leave me with a bar of refined metal to work at the forge. You'll need coal to fill the smelter. This can be produced by building a kiln and loading it with wood. Yep. They're actually doing being pretty decent at the tutorial stuff. This is how I remember it being. Not like... Well, I don't remember if they had a tutorial for the smelter, but... Like, this game is not as, like, noob... Like, phobic. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> Alright, where, where can I build this thing? Probably has to be flat ground, I would imagine. Or maybe not. Just kind of like a clear enough space. Alright, well, it looks like I'm trying to flatten some more dirt out then, huh? Nope. 
The hoe has mixed uh, results, as you can kind of see. We might be doing better just trying to like mine the, the dirt flat. Alright, let's see if they'll let us build it here now. Oh, I had a spot there. Mm. Eh, good enough. Okay, yeah, I have to like look at this hole. Uh, this is gonna take up a lot of wood, so let's uh, get some more wood. We'll load it up and spend the last bit of stream just kind of mining some more uh, copper. And this game is pretty. Like, this game is a very aesthetically pleasing game. It's not like oh, I see the gray dwarves have come to visit. <laughs> I like that. Like, I freaking parried the uh, stone and it made the, the gray dwarf that threw the stone, like, recoil. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's uh, cut down some of these trees. All right, let's load this thing up with wood. You can just hold down E now. Thank the fucking Lord. All right, and that will just kind of do that. Yeah, this game is very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, just fired up, fired out some coal. Well, let's see if we can get some copper to put in there to smelt. Stones. <clears throat> Our skill with pickaxes will go up as we're mining as well. Yeah, I, I, specific, I specifically set up my base next to this copper deposit because, oh, Jesus. This rock is not part of the copper deposit, it seems like. But y'all are annoying. Come here. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate for y'all. You have fallen into my trap. My clever trap. I know there was another one of you. Where did you go? There you are. Come here, stinky. We got five copper. I know. Think I think we had like three other copper, but we need to get uh, t 
ten to kind of just have a full cycle going, I suppose. It's uh, kind of a. Awkward situation. Oh, well, that's ten. Let's, um... Remember where my house is, duh. <clears throat> okay, put the extra charcoals away. I'll put the stones in here too. Moving that very shortly. Well, a very we'll, we'll be moving that whenever we get the chance to. But like, getting murdered slowly, <laughs> piece by piece. Yeah, it won't be quite as slow once we have a better pickaxe. Yeah, we have to kind of like aim awkwardly to get this, this the this, the coal in the smelter. We got a copper bar. Bar of pure copper ready to be worked. That. Now let's see how much we're gonna copper we're gonna need to make the uh, the forge. We need six copper. That's not that bad, but we'll have more than enough to have that happen. We might end up putting like, the forge like over here or something. In the meantime, let's um, drop that off, drop off the other coal. And... Oh, something else I need to make here. Cooking facilities. I heard them. I heard them. Where are you? I heard you yelling at me. Little gray dwarf ass. There you are. I heard. I know. It's like I know I heard you. Stop running from me. Accept your death with dignity. Why are you like this? <laughs> Come back. It's like the fucking Benny Hill music just chasing this fucking gray dwarf. Thank you, God. Ugh. What a hassle.
You can also make coal out of food, too, if you leave it on for too long. I didn't mean to do that, but... Like, that wasn't actually intentional, but, I mean, coal is coal. Alright, we do have enough stuff to probably make that if we can get some more wood, which it's not really an if at this point. I mean, we're surrounded by wood. That's a fur. Another fur. Let's break this log here. It's kind of just in... It's something that you, I would stumble over trying to run away from an enemy. I can already envision that. Like, just trying to, like, run away from, like, a troll or something. I can see myself stumble over that log and getting bonked in the head with, like, a tree trunk or whatever. It's so rare that they actually want to fight me. So, I'll take it. Grab this, this. Let's do seven, and we're going to see. I need, okay, I need some stone too. Okay, and I think I'll put that right here. We should be able to move it if necessary. Really? Get out of my house! Jesus Christ, the audacity. No, I'm not I'm, I'm not taking any visitors right now. All right, what do we got here? Forge. We can make a copper knife, which is absolutely not worth it for me. sign <laughs> okay fine what what are you doing oh you're a grayling you're not even worth my time but you're kind of noisy so we'll just uh boop you into snoot I got a feeling I need to smelt some uh, some tin down as well before I'm going to be able to do much more with that. So let's get the tin in. Do I have any coal left in there? No. So we're actually going to destroy this and move it. There we go. Now we can get around to actually adding the coal to it. Okay, and then we'll let that smelt. Oh, yeah, next time I stream this, we're gonna definitely have to go hard on getting more more ore it takes a fair bit of effort to uh, to get all this going but it's really satisfying once you can like make a bunch of stuff and when you have like a metal pickaxe it makes mining faster and all that kind of deal <clears throat> Or does tin take like multiple uh, coal? 
Or maybe everything takes multiple coal and I just wasn't paying attention. Hard to say. Okay, cool. Oops, I, again, I accidentally made more coal because I kind of forgot about the food. Two copper to one ten makes bronze. Let's grab that food before I forget about it again. Cool. <laughs> Let's put this stuff away for now, because, yeah, we're, we're going to have to go real hard on getting more of this stuff next stream. Like, a lot more coal, a lot more ores, and just a lot more everything. I do like this house though. It's got a nice, like, nice, like two-tiered kind of set set up here. We need more whores. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, characters woken up. We'll eat and then we're gonna end the stream because I gotta get ready to. Get my stuff. I gotta get ready to go to work. Yeah, I just felt like streaming today. I was like, well, eventually Valheim might become the Wednesday game, so let's play some of that. Uh, so we're gonna do log out just because I feel better about doing log out to make sure that. Thank you, Neki. I will try my best. <laughs> So, yep, that's going to be end of this stream for today. Thank y'all so much for coming by. And I'm not streaming tomorrow. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> oh, One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, <laughs> eighteen. Thanks 19, for that. <laughs> 20, 21. I need to, I need to remember how to count up to 31. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Fantastic. And with that, I'm going to be ending my stream. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can raid someone real quick. Uh, looks like, uh, Birdie's doing some Dragon Age 2, Digi's doing some Pathologic, okay, um, I dropped in on Digi yesterday, so let's drop in on Birdie this time, I was actually playing Valheim with Birdie on Sunday, so, it seems pretty fitting, uh, so, hey, hey, see you later, <laughs> 69, of course, but yeah, I'll see. I'll see you later. I'm gonna be streaming again on Saturday. I just wanted to stream today. Just, I don't know. Just kind of wanted to. But I'm gonna be ending my stream, and we're gonna drop in and see Birdie Boo. See y'all next time.